Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few settings that you need to set up in Xero before you start lodging your activity statements, such as your BAS returns and your IAS returns. Now in this video, I use a blank Xero file, which I've just called fake company. So you can follow along with that with your real Xero file for your real business if you like. And then we do dive into the demo company briefly, just so I can show you a few things in there as well. Okay, so let's go into Xero now and get started. So if you go to the main drop down menu and settings, some of these we looked at before earlier in the course, but we'll just finish filling these things in and just go over them again. So organization details. Okay, and what you need to do is you need to make sure you pick an organization type, otherwise this page won't save. So I'll just pick company there for my fake company. And then you need to put in an ABN that will flow through to your activity statements. So if you're setting up your business for real, put in your real ABN. Otherwise you can just put in the same one that's in the demo company, which is what I'm going to do, uh, which is one, one, and then triple one, and then triple one again, and then one, three, eight. Okay. So I think that will save now if I just scroll down and hit save. Okay. That seems to have saved. So just go back to the settings. Okay. And the next thing we want to look at is the advanced settings and the financial settings. Okay. So we covered some of this before, but I just want to point out that you really do need to fill in this top section here uh, before you do your activity statements. So I'll just put some information in um, to this fake company and I'll just assume that it's a fairly small business. So I'll just choose the cash basis and the tax file number. Again, I'll just get it from the uh, demo company, but you can go and put your real tax file number in here for your business if you've got it. So for the demo company, it's five, three, zero, zero, three, zero, eight, six, six, one, six. All right. So I'll choose quarterly um, for the GST calculation. And the pays you go with held period, I will say is monthly. So we'll end up doing installment activity statements in the months when we don't do um, BAS returns. And then for the pays you go income tax method, um, I'll just choose an installment quarterly just for the sake of this exercise. And then I'll just tick all of these fringe benefits tax, fuel tax credit and wine equalization tax. Obviously don't tick them if you don't need to um, pay them through your activity statements. So you need to make sure that you put the right information in here. So if you don't know what to put in there, you need to check with your tax accountant and they'll be able to tell you, and then you'll be able to um, enable your activity statements um, in the correct way in zero. So once you've done that, you can hit save. Okay. So we'll just go back to advanced. And the final thing is the tax rates. Okay. So we changed these over to the advanced rates earlier in the course which we don't need um, for this um, particular exercise. So we can change back to the basic tax rates. Okay, so you should end up with six tax rates there if you're a small business and you use the simpler BAS, um, you're not importing and exporting and that sort of thing, um, or you don't have a, a large turnover, you can just use these six tax rates. Okay, so that's that. The last thing I want to do is just go actually into the activity statements. Now the activity statements are actually a report. So you can get to them through this reports um, selection here in the menu, but it's been favorited on here. So you can actually just go straight to the favorite on here. Okay. So I just wanted to show you this screen. So the first time um, you go to your activity statements, if you've just set up a brand new business in zero, you get to this screen that asks you whether you want to lodge your activity statements with zero directly to the ATO. So I suggest that you do if, if you're able to do that, because it means that you won't have to lodge them manually, which means um, if you're going to do it manually, you either need to go to the business portal and type your numbers in there, or you need to lodge the old paper copy um, through the mail. So if you can go ahead and 
hook up your zero file to the ATO. Um, just click on continue and it'll, it will take you through the process. So naturally I can't do it here because this is just a fake business, um, but there's a process to go through so you can just follow that. So I'm just going to have to click on no thanks. Okay, so the first time you go to do an activity statement, you'll get to this screen here and it will just ask you um, for some parameters and some of it's um, pretty much the same as what you filled out before um, on that other screen, but you've got to do it again. So I'm going to choose the simpler bass here because I'm assuming that this business has less than a $10 million um, a year GST turnover. If you're turning over more than 10 million, then you'll need to use the full bass. And then down here, you just need to um, choose uh, these parameters, which are basically what we chose before on that other screen. So we want to do quarterly GST. We want it to be on the cash basis. Um, we're going to do our withholding monthly. So we'll do those installment activity statements. And then we've got the um, option one there um, for the um, pay as you go income tax for the company. And then down here, there's the three taxes that we ticked before. There's another one here now for luxury car tax. So let's just check that box and we'll hit save. Okay, so what you get now is the activity statement screen finally. So this is the screen that you'll actually get to when you click on that from now on, now that you've set it up. If you wanna get back to your settings, you can just click on this button up here. Otherwise, what you do is you click on that uh, drop down there and you'll have a history there of the activity statements um, that you've um, lodged or should have lodged and you can just go down um, to the latest one and pull that up and um, and you can go ahead and fill it in so you can see here it actually tells you which taxes are going to be included on each activity statement so this one here would be a bass this would be the simpler bass so it's got the GST in there, it's got the pay as you go withholding, and it's also got those other taxes that we selected. So it's got the um, income tax, the FBT, and the other ones like luxury car tax. And then you've got one of those every quarter. You can see one there in September. And then in the in-between months, you've just got the pay as you go withholding um, tax because that's how we said we're going to do um, our holding tax um, every month. So those are your installment activity statements. So let's just go into a full bass. And I'll just show you a couple of things here before we switch to the demo company. So I can show you this in a bit more detail because as you can see, there's no information in here. We don't have any transactions yet. So I just wanted to quickly show you that ABN that we put in before in our organization settings. You can see that it's come through here at the top. So if you don't put in an ABN, you won't have that coming through. And then also the GST accounting method that we selected before, uh, which is cash right there. Now down the bottom, you've got this button that says finalize. So when, when you have not hooked up your zero file to the ATO and you've finished doing your BAS return or your IAS return, that button will say finalize and then you finalize it and then you can lodge it, um, like I said, through the portal or through a paper copy or whatever. If you do hook up your zero file to the ATO, that button should be green and it will say lodge. Okay, so another thing I just wanna show you, you can see we're using the simpler bass here, but because we've got so many taxes selected, um, such as our fringe benefits tax installments, etc., it doesn't really look simple at all. Uh, there's quite a lot of fields on here. It looks quite complicated, but I just wanna show you that if you go back into your settings, and you deselect um, some of these things that we selected before. So if you don't actually pay any of these um, through your um, activity statements, then you can deselect them and click on save. And then if we go to our drop down menu again, you can see now when we see our quarterly bath returns, see how there's fewer taxes on there now. We've just got the GST, the withholding tax and the PAYG installment tax. So if we click back into it, now you can see there's a lot fewer fields to fill in because we don't have those taxes on here. We've just got um, those couple of taxes. So there's your GST, your pay as you go withholding tax and your pay as you go um, income tax installment. So that's a much simpler bass now or simpler looking bass. 
All right, so that's as much as I can show you here in, in the fake company because we don't have any transactions. Let's just go now to the demo company. Okay, so we'll go to our activity statements. Okay, so it's taking me to this screen again. So I'm just going to leave everything as is. I know that says accrual, uh, which is not what we selected before, but that's fine. We'll just hit save. And we'll go and select uh, our latest activity statement. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, uh, this is what it looks like when you actually have some information at least coming through. Um, so there's your sort of grand total up the top as to what's refundable or payable. Um, there's some GST there and there's uh, not too much else going on um, on this one. Um, obviously, when you do yours for real for your business, uh, these will be a lot more populated. And then I just wanted to show you these different tabs. So you've got the summary tab here, which is what we're on. If you want to go and check um, your work, you can click on these other two tabs. So if you click on this one, okay, you can see that you've got transactions by tax rate and you can scroll down and have a look at every single transaction there. So this is the GST on income tax rate. And then as you go further down, you've got GST on expenses, down, 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 and you've got um, BAS excluded as well. So there's a lot of transactions in there. And then you can go to transactions by BAS field and you can check the same information again, but this time it's by the BAS labels. So these are ways that you can check your transactions before you actually lodge. And if you need to export to Excel um, or PDF to um, sort these out somehow and check them over, then you can do it through here. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.